Music is the answer. Sweet music is the way. Gospel, jazz, R&B. Touches you every day. Talk about how it moves you. Differently day to day. It's the R&B Bistro. Letting music have its way. Hello and welcome to the R&B Bistro Up Close and Personal. I'm your host, Venus, and I'm here to take you through this musical dance we call life. And to do that, you know I bring on wonderful people in the community to help us make it through. Today, I am hardly can't control my enthusiasm. I have a wonderful journalist sitting next to me. I'm like so excited. She's been in the business for over 30 years. You've seen her on several major television stations, Channel 11. Channel 9, Channel 5, around town, around the corner, everywhere. I'm going to stop talking. She's an Emmy Award winner. I got to say that first. I'm going to stop talking because Brenda Blackman is in the house in the r &B show today, and I'm so excited. Thank you so much, and welcome oh, to the r &B Bistro. Thank you so much. I'm the one excited to be meeting you. Oh, my goodness. Whenever I connect with people, especially mm -hmm. on social media, mm -hmm. that makes me excited because that means that when I first started talking to people on social media. Yeah. I got a chance to go to the hashtag convention, the hashtag 140 have convention. have a hashtag convention? Yes, okay. a few <laughs> years ago, and it was it was global. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to meet people whom I had been talking to on Twitter, Facebook, and all of the other ones. Yeah, yeah. And it was amazing because people can connect that way. Yes. My daughter and I actually have friends whom we've met and stayed in contact through with that? and talked about through that and talked about with major issues mm -hmm. and issues that affect people very personally. Mm -hmm. So it's not all the bad things you hear about yeah. social media. It does so much good. For instance, on Giving Tuesday, yes. you know, which has just been recently. Yeah. So we've kind of connected on, mm -hmm. social, on social media. media. So this is a good and, thing. And when you answered me, I said, <gasps> <laughs> so, so, so often people say, how do you get in touch with me? I mm -hmm. say, just Google me. Yeah. And it's it's true. Mm -hmm. If you just Google me, it's not everything you see there is true, by the way. Okay. But, or if you just send a send a tweet mm -hmm. like you did. Tweet. We just connected. Tweet. tweet her. It's it's such a simple <laughs> word. <laughs> and but we're gonna works. give you all that information when we get to yes. the end of the show. But can we get up close and personal? Why not? All right, all right. So you've been an anchor and a journalist, I said that already for over thirty years. Was that your dream or Actually, your plan? Over forty. <gasps> You can't be because you're only 35, I so I don't know how that happened. You but started in diapers, right? Believe it or not, I really did start from mm -hmm. the time I was legally an adult. Mm -hmm. Would you believe the very first time I was on television, do you know what I used for makeup? What? I went to Walgreens. I got that uh, kind of you know, plain makeup you get in the, mm -hmm. I, I think, I can't even remember the name of it now, but I literally just used that and powdered my face really? and put on lip gloss because no one had taught me, I had never worn makeup. Uh -huh. Unlike kids nowadays. Yeah, you know, practicing yeah, at right. five. Exactly. <laughs> or parents are trying to go, oh, look at my teenager yeah. now. She has lipstick and mascara. Yeah. But the first time I used makeup was on television and I was legally an adult. So I wow. got some powder yeah. and some lip gloss mm -hmm. and went on TV. Mm -hmm. And I cannot tell you, it was not a good look. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter TV. because 40 years later, <laughs> still on TV. So maybe I ought to try that. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take tips of how you do it now going forward. Can I tell you something sure. funny? I also back in the day mm -hmm. had an afro. Mm -hmm. I wore glasses. Mm -hmm. And they were the kind of glasses that changed with the light. So, of course, in TV lighting, they oh went my dark. Goodness, and you couldn't so, see? I had an afro, dark glasses. <laughs> 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 was it during the panther time? No. Oh, I know. It was CoverGirl corn silk. Okay. CoverGirl corn silk makeup and lip gloss. And here I was doing the news. <laughs> okay. In a very deep voice. I'm still proud of you. In a very deep voice. And you won Emmys. So mm, you've <laughs> done something right, something right. <laughs> so now you covered all kinds of stories. You talked to all kinds of people, politicians and entertainers, politicians, I said that, re religious leaders. Anybody too hard to interview? Anybody that you, a story you didn't want to do? Well, there was someone very hard to interview, mm -hmm. actually, uh, someone whom I knew, but it was a very difficult time, mm -hmm. and it became a gl the first global interview of Sissy Houston after Whitney died. Mm. And it was difficult to interview, not because we didn't know each other. We right. went to the same church. The situation. But, right, the mm. situation yeah, yeah, yeah. and getting her to talk about that because she wasn't going to talk about it with anyone. Mm. But 
mothers have a way of connecting. Yes. Moms have a way of connecting. Yes. Sarah Palin, the first interview in the New York area. Mm -hmm. She wasn't talking to anybody when she was running for office back mm -hmm. in the day, but we connected as moms. And she spoke I to said, you. you know, I have a daughter and and she was talking about her special son. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and we connected in that way and we ended up sitting down for the first interview that nice. anyone got. Nice. And we both sat down with our legs crossed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can cross your legs now if you want to. Awesome no. boots. <laughs> Let's see the boots. No. All right. And uh, we connected yeah. in that way. Mothers have a way, a way. of connecting like no one else. And don't you think if it's anything you might have in common, because sometimes, like now, it takes the conversation into different areas yeah. because a commonality comes up. Hope. When you talk about mm -hmm. hope, when you talk about um, the ability to, 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 to just hope for something better for someone, mm -hmm. to be in a situation, everyone experiences pain at some yes. point. Yes. Everyone needs hope. Yes. Uh, everyone needs to be connected. Everyone needs support. Everyone needs to hear something positive, positive. that you mm -hmm. give people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And everyone's been through trials and tribulations, but we need to come out of it mm -hmm. better. And you can change somebody's day by giving yes. them something positive, a positive word, yes. a smile. You look beautiful today. Uh, Anything like that, Anything right? Anything like that. Just a smile. You don't have to say a word, mm -hmm. but when you walk out of your own home, you can, and you, <laughs> I'll never forget, my brother first told me, he said, you know, it's just a matter of influencing someone else with a smile. You empower yourself. Yes. And I said, you know, I didn't know. He said, yes. He said, that's what, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. You empower yourself, and by doing so, you, you empower, empower others. others. You get up in the morning, and you may not want to mm. go to that job. You may not want to, but you say, okay, the only thing I can do today is smile, mm -hmm. but I'm going to do that. Give I'm that smile. Give that smile. Yes. You may not feel like washing your face or putting on makeup, <laughs> but do it for somebody else. <laughs> we don't want to see we how you don't that. want to. Yeah, we want to yeah. see what you do want to. Yeah, and the yeah. more you do, the more you give, mm. the more you walk out with that sense of, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. People see that. And they give it back. Yes, that's so sometimes true. Sometimes reluctantly, so sometimes they don't even know what's happening. So that brings me, I like that part, that brings me into you with other anchors and having to deal with other anchors on set <laughs> and working as a good team because everybody comes giving different things. Yes, they so do. So do you use what you just said? Mm. I have learned so much. And it's interesting, um, I have just in the last... This last anchor period was the only time I'd ever worked with a woman. Mm -hmm. I've always worked with men, mm -hmm. and I have learned so much over the decades. Uh, I've worked with all with people who are from different backgrounds and mm -hmm. so forth. One of the men whom I learned the most from was Roland Smith. Okay. And Roland has just started doing a lot of things on Facebook. He's and I'm glad he's back there mm -hmm. because he's giving such. Um, such sound reasoning and advice. Everyone always considered him just this sort of uh, mental guru anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's just always been such a, a learned man. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad he's now contributing more because he's talking about America, mm. the way uh, and the America and the Constitution mm -hmm. and the America we all want. Back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll skip over that. <laughs> Well, he's talking about the America we've always dreamed yes. of in, in its perfect form. Right. Okay. I'll have to look at And the at America that. as it is today. Okay. And uh, people are commenting, and most are saying, Rollin, we need you. Why don't you we run need you back? Why don't you run for me? <laughs> I need to tune into that. So, so I've, I've just advice. worked with some real gyms yeah. in, in yeah. my day. And, uh, and from the area, the places I've worked to, Columbus, Georgia, my hometown. First uh, black woman on camera there, right? <laughs> How awesome is that? Trend well, setting. Also, is that b b by being the first, you know, not knowing things, mm -hmm. uh, but learning them along mm -hmm. the way, mm -hmm. you know, from everything from the Trial makeup and fire. the hair. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's always exactly. been what's happened to me. Trial and by also, fire. you know, walking in to my first uh, and experiencing things like the first time someone notices me on mm -hmm. TV. Aren't you? <gasps> yes. 
Evelyn Rice, you know, oh. <laughs> calling me something else. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my name is Brenda, you yeah. know, but just, you know, being recognized. Uh -huh. uh, you know, after, years later, it's like, you know. Yeah. Do they ever go, you're, you're, yeah. and have you ever said, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I just usually <laughs> smile and, you know, go on. Well, or, let's talk about this prop that you have in your hand. You wrote a book. Oh, and, and, I'm going prop, prop. She's got the prop that she told me she bought props. It's become such a part of <laughs> yes, me now. Yes, well, so. Well, the first prop. Tell me, tell me why you wrote it at first. Well, the name of it okay. is Brenda Blackman, A Mom Story. Yes, this is and my first And you wrote that problem. because? Well, because my daughter has lupus. Mm -hmm. uh, and in it, um, the first time I, I wrote this one because I wanted to do something to help not only her, but everyone, everyone who's who has lupus mm -hmm. and who's affected. Mm -hmm. I had the wonderful opportunity to stand before the FDA Advisory Committee mm -hmm. back in 2010 mm -hmm and give testimony. The Lupus Research uh, Association here, mm -hmm. um, excuse me, I'm now I'm calling it the Lupus Research Association. That's not mm -hmm. what it's called. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> At the time, it was actually um, called something else. Now it's the LRA, the Lupus Research Alliance, okay. because it's like actually joined, several organizations have joined together. Right. But at the time, it gave me a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. And there was not a drug for lupus in more than 50 years. Mm -hmm. And you know, whenever men need something, you mm -hmm. know, they manage to get those sorts of drugs. Mm -hmm. But there was not a drug for lupus for mostly African American women mm -hmm. who, are the, who mostly, they are the ones who were mostly right. affected by lupus. So you wrote it to share the story. I wrote it to not only share mm -hmm. that story, but uh, I actually testified before the FDA because I wanted them to, to approve the, the drug, drug. Yes, yes. Do you feel that it's important to talk about such personal things like that? Well, I only had three minutes. Mm -hmm. I, but I, met, I kind of went over, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. but I was in tears, and I was in a cute red dress at the time, <laughs> <laughs> like this one. <laughs> <laughs> and they allowed me to go over because mm -hmm. I started talking about my daughter, right. and she went into the hospital overnight stay, went into a coma. Mm -hmm. um, that that mm -hmm. coma uh, ended up with the doctor saying she wasn't going to make it. Mm -hmm. So when but we know a doctor. Ah, oh, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And when they're talking about disconnecting your child from a respirator, and we're talking about uh, 52 days in ICU, mm -hmm. and I'm going to work every day. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, uh, you know, but like you say, you know, you ask people around the world to pray, mm -hmm. and when people say prayer and and they don't they don't know why it is people pray well guess yeah. what <laughs> guess what let me what? tell you prayer changes things and it definitely it works. truly does and isn't it her, wonderful her, when you ask eyes. that and yes. then you see people actually they're yes. actually praying even the doctors yes. called her a miracle yes. she opened her eyes because it she's, took a couple of years before like she like 20 something now she she's uh she's she tells me, don't tell people how old I am, tell then they won't ask how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> but the best news is she is 98% back to where she That's was awesome. before. She had to learn to walk oh, again, God talk again. Yes. So it's only like three pages talk about lupus. Mm -hmm. The rest, it, pictures that I took mm -hmm. uh, with my own little iPhone, mm -hmm. the rest says things like, today I remember the serenity pair, prayer. I may be able to understand and work on only one sentence at a time, and that's okay. So for now, God grant me the serenity. Read simple that things. I left the house. I, yes. Simple things that anybody, even a child, can read and mm -hmm. talk about. Mm -hmm. So that was the first book. Right. And, you know, so therefore people can just talk about it. But mm -hmm. the, all the book is just little positive things. Only mm -hmm. two pages talk about lupus and herbert. Now stop right here while I have this wonderful book in my hand. You said that folks that watch this show and tell us that they watch this show, didn't you say you had something special oh, for them? Oh, but that's for the second book. Oh, <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm about giving away y'all two books. Okay, yeah, that's second the book. Th th mm -hmm. This is the second. This so book this one I didn't know about. Oh, you. this is the new book, mm -hmm. Brenda Blackman, Awareness Conciencia. Okay, and this book. Is? This was the fun. Part. This is the same thing. Awareness mm -hmm. in English, uh -huh. Conciencia in Spanish. Awesome. This was done with a friend of mine whose daughter has lupus. lupus. She's only seven years old now. They had to do a oh biopsy to find out. She had little dots in her fingernails mm -hmm. when she was young. It took three years. How do you My know? My daughter when you only have took it. You don't. And there's not just one test that you have to go through a series of tests. Mm -hmm. But they did a biopsy on her. But they did it on her face. 
they could have done it someplace else. Mm -hmm. So she'll always have that mark. Mm -hmm. But it's her story. But guess what? In order to do this book, mm -hmm. Panasonic gave kids in her class little cameras. They went home over the weekend, and they, and they took pictures of what they want to do and what they want to be so that there can be a world uh -huh. without lupus. So in the book are pictures of them. Oh, this is awesome. And the kinds of things they want to do. Whoops. I'll, she looks familiar. Oh, <laughs> that's my daughter. Okay. But I'm trying to find the pictures of them and what they want to do because they want to, there you go, yeah. of some of her classmates and what mm -hmm. they want, like one wants to be a chef, one wants to be a veterinarian, yes. of what they want to do so that they can have a world free of lupus. Awesome. So her classmates did that. Awesome. And so Panasonic gave them the pictures. Mm -hmm. And uh, WPIX uh, w mm -hmm. helped contribute, the, their foundation mm -hmm. uh, helped contribute to the book. Mm -hmm. And uh, Panasonic picks, and of course, uh, all of the, the, the town that um, she's from. Yeah. So my, and I almost said Montclair. So <laughs> it tells the people on the back of the mm -hmm. book, I get, I get so excited, so excited I forget. Yeah. Yes, it's just, it's so wonderful. It is. So, and so the photograph was done in New York, and of course the people from Kearney, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So, and, and the that's people, not too far from yes, here. of yeah, course yeah. not. Mm -hmm. And so the kids, and of course, sent, uh, Ms. Cruz is just, everybody's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. they could, oh, so mm -hmm. for your show, for anyone show. who buys a book uh -huh. gets a book for free. Okay. So that they can perhaps give someone. Give one to someone yes. else. How awesome it's is that? It's a holiday. That? It's yes, a holiday for giving. It is giving. a holiday of giving. So, all right. So, we talked about why you wanted to share it. Now, you have a company. Yes. And the company is called Brenda Blackman Communications. Is that correct? Yes. Also, with this book mm -hmm. is from the Kelly Fund for Lupus okay. because that's what was started when we first found out okay. Kelly had lupus. All right. Okay. Yes, Brenda Blackman Communications. Mm -hmm. So, tell us about that company, what you do, uh, and why you created it. You know, I started that company actually when I was in Nashville, Tennessee. So that was like the second round of jobs because mm -hmm. I actually walked into a bank. You know, so many people are entrepreneurs and mm -hmm. they have ideas. Mm -hmm. I walked into a bank. I said, I want to open a checking account, but I want you to know that I'm going to be famous one day and that I'm going to have a business and I'm going to do some things and I'm going to really be famous and people are going to know who I am. So when you open this checking I love account that. today, just know that it's going to really grow and it's going to be really great. Well, fortunately, you know, a magazine uh, here in New York, and I can't believe I can't think of the magazine, <laughs> right? okay. but I became one of the 25 most uh, influential, influential yes. people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And my friend Aziz will now say, Brenda, you are not going to come back as MC next year because you cannot even remember the name of the Have a little cheat sheet. <laughs> All right. But my good, you said it. Speak it into existence. You have to do that. Yes. When I walked and into you can't be afraid to say that, right? Of course. When I walked into Channel Nine, mm -hmm. uh, I had actually a applied for a job at the National Association of Black Journalists mm -hmm. uh, the the December before. Mm -hmm. And when I went to the association, I met the news director. He said, "We don't have any jobs for reporters right now." I said, mm -hmm. "That's okay. Just just hire me, and and I'll do whatever you need me to do, and and I'll I'll continue to do that." So when I started as a reporter, and whenever anybody would ask me, I said, "I'll do I'll it." Do it. There you go, and that's what you have to do. So I ended up working on Nine Broadcast Plaza. Mm -hmm. At the time, Matt Lauer was mm -hmm. uh, doing mm -hmm. it with uh, mm -hmm. Renee Hamley, mm -hmm. was doing the show. But you know, guys, you know, people would come up every day in limos, and it was just a fabulous show in the you wow. know mornings. Yeah. And then I ended up substituting on the weekends, mm -hmm. you know, with our Ridge Wells, and mm -hmm. it was great. Mm -hmm. And then I. I became the main anchor, and the first time we ever won an Emmy was when I was anchoring by myself. Hmm, I wonder what that means. <laughs> I wonder what that means. But it's do you have any kind of life. shows now, like any kind of um, small like talk shows or something like that? Well, I I stopped at Pix Lad this past. It's been September exactly one year now. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's something about to happen, but Ruin. I can't tell That's you. That's right, but when it happens after, you can, can come back and talk to me? Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Or you can have me come and talk to you. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, okay. you, uh, you have to have your passion, and for right now, my passion is lupus mm -hmm. and also Fairleigh Dickinson University mm -hmm. because it was there that I found out so much about myself. Mm -hmm. But you believe... Unlike a lot of people who go to college, you know, when they're young, mm -hmm. 
I didn't go to college until I was an adult. Nice. Because then you know, that's why they do that gap year now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, so many universities like Fairly right. take the experience you have, mm -hmm. and they can use that toward your credits. Right. And therefore, I ended up with, I ended up getting my bachelor's, and then I ended up getting my master's mm -hmm. in public administration, and then I ended up teaching. So is that why you started the company? So that you can help other people? Oh, no, I started the company first. Oh, okay. But, okay, I, okay. but I did want to mm -hmm. help other people, because mm -hmm. that's a part of the whole slogan mm -hmm. that we have and everything. Yeah, yeah. So are you still doing active in the company? I am Because you're in the community so much, I don't know how you have time <laughs> I, to do all these things. Oh my gosh, you know what, that's the other thing. People mm -hmm. say they don't have time. You mm -hmm. have time to do as much as you want to do. Mm -hmm. You I have like to that. want to. You have to want to do it. Mm -hmm. That's the, mm -hmm. That's the big thing. But right now my focus is going to be on helping my state. Mm -hmm. I've been in and out of New York and mm -hmm. New Jersey, but New Jersey is truly my adopted home. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be doing something that I hope will make a change in this state. And again, for my Wonderful. university. You want to run for mayor or governor? I, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to run for office? No. <laughs> none of that. No, none of that. Okay. I like that answer. <laughs> I like that picture. I wish I could look like that again. <laughs> it all looks beautiful to me. It's beautiful. So, all right. I saw these. Teach one. Take one. Thank one. That's one my more. motto. Be just and fair to all. Do what's right mm -hmm. from Isaiah. Mm -hmm. That embodies everything about you, doesn't it? That's who I am. Mm -hmm. That's really who I am. Yeah. And you think it's important to, to try and share, or how can we rather, share that with others so that they can come to those kind of decisions that that's what should be done? Because you have to be positive. Mm -hmm. There is so much negativity out there. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to be a part of that? Mm -hmm. You are unique. Whenever people say, I want to be like, or they see someone else, or they, or they get really angry about what they do see, mm -hmm. I say, and this is going to sound really crazy, turn off the news. Yes, it does sound crazy turn with the news person it, saying it, but yes. I know, turn it, it off. It makes you sad. It makes you sad, it makes you angry. Yeah. If you want to do something, all you have to do is open your door and there you can see needs all around yes. you. You don't have to turn on the news to get an idea about mm -hmm. where to go. Mm -hmm. Now there is, I'm sure we have phones, right? Mm -hmm. There are phones, all you have to do, Google, hell, <laughs> there's Who so can much I help? Or a word that will get, right. you know, like lupus and yes, then things will come up. Yes, Giving Tuesdays, mm -hmm. there are so many people in need. You mm -hmm. know there, yeah. there are probably people in your family in need, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have some community. family that have lupus as well. I have some family yeah. that has so many things, heart disease, you know, dementia, all kinds of things. Would you believe there's not a things. single day that goes by that I don't meet someone who has lupus? Wow. I'm, I'm at the grocery store, <coughs> excuse me, mm -hmm. I'm at the grocery store, or I'm getting something at FedEx run off about lupus mm -hmm. and someone will say, I know someone mm -hmm. or there's a neighbor I have or. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can help. There, there are people mm -hmm. who need your help mm -hmm. and there are people who need what you know. Yeah. That's what this show is about. For you and to you tell them what you know. And you do such a good job. Well, thank you. I appreciate I that. Want, especially I want to say thank you on behalf uh, of everybody watching. Uh -huh. I want to say Thank you for My what God. you do, because I know you don't hear enough of that. My God, thank you so I mean, much. when people see this, oh. they need to embrace One those words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you said you weren't going to make me cry. So I'm gonna <laughs> this is a throwaway question before we get to our facts, and we may spend a little time on it. Because I started the show and it was about music at first, I, like I said in the intro, everything to me, music, life is a dance. Sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad, sometimes you're up, you're down. You can probably remember a song related to when you're, you first had your daughter or when you got married or whatever. You can think of anything. So if your life was set to music, would it be gospel, jazz, R&B, or some other genre? Oh, James Cleveland, I ain't always tired. Oh, my God. And th that is yes, what I used to yes. sing all the time. Mm -hmm. That is what I still often sing mm -hmm. because... I believe in that. You know, my grandmother used to be in the kitchen humming mm -hmm. and she'd wash the dishes. And I thought, why? She, and no, first of all, <laughs> what is she what singing? Is she singing? <laughs> and she is just doing this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be just mm -hmm. like one of those because, you know, yeah. I'm from the South. Uh -huh. So it'd be just like one of those. Mm -hmm. That moan. Right. <laughs> when, uh, exactly. When you that moan, mo the devil don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yes. And, and your grandchildren don't either. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is she saying? Oh, and right. why? You grow old I don't enough. feel no ways tied. That, you know, 
Okay. Give me two to three tips that if someone wants to run right out tomorrow and try to start the path of being a journalist or a newscaster, mm -hmm. what should they do? Two to three tips. Go to college. Go to college. And, and study uh, anything? Uh, you know what, believe it or not, you can study anything mm -hmm. because that educates you, that gets you focused, mm -hmm. that teaches you to read, mm -hmm. it teaches you to write. Please learn to read, learn to write. It's important. Mm -hmm. It's important to be able to write your name in cursive. Mm -hmm. As a college professor, I cannot tell you how many people cannot write, write their name cursive. and think that it's not important. Yes. And cannot. I just cannot tell you. So go to college is one. Go to college. Two. And it's still important to go to college because people think it's mm -hmm. no big deal. Mm -hmm. There are stars mm -hmm. that have never, been, never been to college. college but it's still Guess important. what? Those stars are going to get old. Yep. And you just need to go. go. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Also, stay, read a lot. Mm -hmm. Read a lot. If mm -hmm. you can't buy books, mm -hmm. read a lot. There are things online that mm -hmm. you can read, but, right. but, but read. And mm -hmm. if you'll notice the people who are rich, mm -hmm. they talk about the number of books they read That's every right. day. And the authors, which I never remember. And number three. <laughs> and number three, pray mm -hmm. every day. Make that the first thing you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just talk to him. All right. And he'll talk back. Time always goes too fast. <laughs> it was such a pleasure talking to you. Before Same we here. end, please tell them how they can stay connected to you. How, how can we stay connected to you? You can stay connected to me by going to the Kelly Fund for Lupus dot org. Mm -hmm. Buy a book. It'll say available now. Buy a book. Press that tab. You can buy a book. Buy one and you'll automatically for the week of December one through seven because of this wonderful lady. You buy one book, you get another one free, and give it away. You will be a part of the giving season. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm Venus from the R&B Bistro. We thank you so much for stopping by today. Remember, it's never too late to live your dreams. And when you do, I'll be there encouraging you. Tell someone to tell someone and come on back to the Bistro when we air again. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Sweet music is the way Gospel, jazz, R&B Touches you every day Talk about how it moves you Differently day to day It's the R&B Bistro